to start bringing in different objects into our model, such as plumbing fixtures, casework, and light fixtures. Those are uh, called components. And to bring a component in, first go to the tool tray to the left, uh, clicking on the basics tab, choose component. And in the options bar, uh, you'll, the type selector will bring a pull down menu of different types of components that you can bring in. If you don't see the kind you need, you can click on the load button in the options bar and it brings up a browser window for you to choose the file that you want. In this case, we'll choose a wall-mounted toilet. Uh, click on the file, click open to load it. And then to place the component in the model depends on what type of component it is. Uh, since it's a wall-mounted toilet, this is a wall-based component. So only when I hover over wall does it give me the option to place it. I'm going to click uh, to bring it in. and I'll hit escape a couple times to get out of the component tool. Once the component is placed, if I hover over it, I can grab it and drag it. I can choose the control arrows, which are the little blue arrows that uh, let me flip it back and forth. And a quick way to attach it to a different wall is to go up to the rehost button at the top of the options bar, click on that, and then that gives me the ability to choose a new wall to bring it in. Once it's placed, uh, the best way to precisely uh, place the component is to dimension it and then change the value of the dimension. So I'll go over to the dimension tool, hover over the component and it should highlight a reference plane for you to snap to. Click to start the dimension, click again and click a third time to place the dimension. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the dimension tool. Uh, if I select the component it will highlight the dimension that's associated with it then I could click the dimension and change its value there bring in a different kind of component uh, such as a vanity. I'll go back to the component tool uh, and either load it or uh, in this case it's already loaded. Um, choose uh, the file I want. This type of component is called a line based component. Uh, line based just means that you're going to draw a line uh, and Revit will assign the component to that location of that line and it'll give it length based on the length of the line that you drew. Uh, this kind of component needs a floor f that's drawn in the model first before you can place this component. Um, so I'm going to start my line by clicking. I'll drag it out and then click again to finish the line. And it's brought in a vanity based on the length of the line uh, that I drew. Um, I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the component tool. I can hover over it. It doesn't have control arrows in this case, but I can flip it around with the mirror tool here. Um, and I can rotate it and move it um, with all these tools. To align it to the wall, uh, an easy way to do that is just use the align tool, click on it, click on the face of the wall you want it to align to, and then hover over and click an edge of the object for it to move over. Once you have your objects um, brought in and placed, you can modify them just like any other family. Uh, if you select the object itself, and then click on element properties. In this case, for the uh, casework with the sink, um, some of its instance parameters are the visibility of the side backsplashes. You can um, even choose a cut angle if there is casework next to it in a corner. You can click OK to change that. I'm going to go back and click the um, component. If I want to change some of its type parameters, I'll click Edit New. Um, in here, um, you actually find that the sink and faucet are uh, other um, families that have been loaded into the vanity family. Uh, if I click on this parameter, it actually gives me a drop-down menu, and I can swap out a sink type for a different kind. If I click Apply, it changes the oval sink to a round sink. I can hit OK and hit OK again. Uh, you might find it easy, easier to um, work with these components and start changing them and editing them if you view it in elevation. Uh, to do that, you just place an elevation tag, go to the tool tray, click view, you can choose an elevation, click on it, I'm going to hit escape a couple times, and then I can double click on the view itself, and it brings it up in elevation, and I can start modifying its parameters while I uh, view it in elevation.